Matters should be settled already. There's no point in going to Shibuya now. And did they listen? Nope. The whole team got beaten. I need everyone in Team Kyoto to get regular jobs because they had an intensely garbage performance in Shibuya. Because first of all, at what point while talking to your dead friend, do you think it's a good idea to not take his advice? If the ghost of my dead friend came to me and told me he died playing Fortnite, best believe I will not be touching that game again. I don't need to know how it happened, I'll just follow suit. But these kids are brave. Well, bravely stupid. I think they needed to be reminded that in this anime, it's not a question of how much you believe in yourself. That's for Naruto and Dragon Ball Z characters. It's simply a question of can you throw hands or not. After watching this second season of JJK, I've noticed that most of these characters have a death wish. <laughs> Megumi, someone please get this boy some help. No amount of power friendship is going to save you from a hollow purple. Cause if it was me in that situation, I would have bounced as soon as I heard that Gojo has been sealed. Cause what chance do you have when your most powerful ally has been defeated? It's simply over for you. And not only is he their most powerful ally, but he's the most powerful character in that universe. And man, I have no empathy for Miwa. Is it because... I'm weak. Yes, Miwa, yes you are. Now let's look at this fight against Kenjaku. First of all, Noritoshi lets out a barrage of like a thousand arrows and not one shot on target. None of them dealt any damage. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. And if you look at his character design, it looks like his eyes are closed. I simply cannot make this up. So Mai decides to snipe Kenjaku from the back and that doesn't work either. But I'm not too mad at her because honestly, I would have done the same thing. And at least her shot was on target though. And she stayed at a very safe distance. So then Miwa, <sighs> Miwa, Miwa, Miwa. She decides to use her ultimate attack, which is the quick draw attack. And mind you that it's her most powerful attack. And Kenjaku blocks it and her sword shatters like a bunch of Legos. And the broom girl, I'm not even gonna call her by her first name. But the broom girl lets out a gush of wind. Not a tornado, but a gush of wind. You just saw this man catch a bullet with his bare hands. Are you serious right now? But at least shout out to Toto for actually helping out and doing something. I think he deserved it. And shout out to my buddy maker Maru. He will be missed. But as for his teammates, at least half of them should have been wiped out from the fight. Just to teach them a lesson. At least Mei Mei had the decency to leave even knowing she's possibly one of the most powerful characters. It's either that or she had to catch a flight to a certain island. But I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with running away from danger. It's called a tactical retreat so you can live to fight another day i remember learning that from master wu himself possibly and i feel like mekamari was too nice telling them to not go to shibuya he instead should have told them an idiot yo what a mad bomb crack girl doing hey girl you're a mad girl remember me telling you this you're a mad bomb crack girl you need psychiatric evaluation 